My name is John Doyle. I am the board designer for Slingshot. I started uh, board shaping back in the mid 80s. Uh, started shaping windsurfing boards uh, for my friends and then evolved into a business um, all the way through the late 90s. Uh, jumped into kiteboarding in, uh, around 99 because uh, it looked like it was fun and an involvement from windsurfing and I've been shaping kite boards ever since then. Uh, I live in the Columbia River Gorge uh, near Hood River. Uh, I live there partly because of my business but uh, I also love living there because of the mountains and the water and the wind. Uh, the wind and water conditions are uh, there's anywhere from flat water to choppy swell uh, wind from light wind to super hard wind, uh, plus you can go to the coast two and a half hours away and ride waves. What I enjoy the best is wave riding uh, on any ocean. Beginning of kiteboarding, uh, I was shaping directionals uh, as most shapers were. Uh, the mutant style, which are small directionals uh, that can be ridden forwards or backwards. Uh, and that evolved into the twin age, which was uh, different styles of twins. Uh, they evolved to more freestyle and free ride twins. And uh, that's mostly what people do today. And, uh, and then the, we're starting to get into a lot of uh, surfboard style riding today. Board design uh, sort of starts from uh, past experience. You use uh, past boards to uh, start a basis from. In the last two years, uh, materials have become some of the most important. A lot of wood in the boards gives it a lot of, uh, a lot of flex and response. So today's boards have a lot more flex in the past and, and a lot more liveliness. Three of the most important parts of a board are the, the rockers, very important. Uh, the template's very important for different types, anywhere from freestyle to free ride. One of the parts of a board that makes it feel like it is, is the materials, and the materials allow it to flex. We go through a lot of prototypes, but not necessarily just on one board, uh, through all the different designs, and, and all the designs feed off one another. So we might be working on materials with a bunch of different models, uh, and then that material gets carried over to a different model. So through a year we can easily go well over a hundred boards for prototypes. The new Lunacy board uh, designed by uh, Ruben and myself uh, evolved over a year's period of time. Uh, worked with Ruben, he's very finicky on his boards. Uh, he wants a lot of power, a lot of load and pop. Uh, we evolved the board from a board that was very stiff uh, to give him his power he wants, but through materials we was able to put a lot of flex into the board and response through the wood. Uh, so now he has a lot more spring off the water and a lot better landing characteristics. If you want to know more about our boards, go to slingshotsports.com. Available from powercatshop.com.